weeks ago, and I'm thrilled that Cap Tex Tri is a national champion. I'm uh, the defending national champion for the para division, both for the blind division and for the para athletes overall. Um, I, uh, in 2011, I uh, was the bronze medalist at the World Championship for the sprint distance. And in 2011, I also uh, won the world record for the fastest blind and low vision um, Ironman distance triathlon. Uh, actually, also here in Texas, at Woodlands, Texas. Um, uh, and incidentally, uh, the female record that I set is faster than the male record. So I love to point that out. I never miss a chance. <laughs> I've been blind. Uh, I had a brain tumor uh, in 1986 when I was five years old, and then I lost the remaining vision in 1994. So um, I have never seen out of my right eye, and out of my left eye, I have what we call a five degrees, so a very narrow field of light or dark. So I can't tell, uh, I can't see you, I can't see your camera, I can't see my hands, um, but I can tell when the light is on or when the light is off. Um, but I do read braille, I do use an adaptive computer, um, I use a lot of help from these guys in terms of getting around and getting to and from practices and whatnot. I broke my ankle in a car accident 15 years ago and I had a number of surgeries over the years to help uh, repair the ankle. And then a year ago, uh, the doctor and I, we made the decision to amputate the leg uh, because there weren't, there weren't any more surgeries that were gonna help the leg out. And so we amputated in June of last year. And now, I mean, I have the ability to do the things that I've wanted to do over the last 15 years. Getting used to it has been the most challenging thing. I like to tell people that the, the frustrations I deal with now are minimal compared to the pain that I was in beforehand. I think the most rewarding part is the responses I often get um, either from parents of blind children or from blind people or from people with, with any, um, any type of disability that are then inspired themselves to pursue some sort of sport. And I don't necessarily advocate everyone should be a triathlete, but I do think everyone should have some interest or something that helps them you know, stay fit, stay healthy, and you know, have something that defines them beyond their own disability. I was at the Bella Way a couple months ago riding my bike and uh, a girl and her boyfriend were coming by and she turned around and said to her boyfriend, look, uh, we have no more excuses, let's do another lap. And so just getting people to go and try harder is really rewarding.